Hey toy fans, I have here a mystery box from Mvargo97, who has been a patron of this channel and a long time supporter. He's also a massive, massive Valiverse Action Force fan, which is why I'm wearing the Action Force t-shirt in his honor. And it just so happens that uh, I met Mvargo97 at uh, Joe Fest earlier this year, and I met his lovely fiance. And they happened to get married this past weekend, so, before we get into the box, I would like to send both of them my sincerest congratulations for their wedding and uh, I wish them all the best for many, many years of happiness to come in the future. Um, so long as his now wife uh, can put up with the amount of money he spends at Valverse. <laughs> but um, he sent me this mystery box and the custom slip says G.I. Joe figure. I'm intrigued. Are you intrigued? Stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. Hey, toy fans. My name is Tony, and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. And without further ado, let's get this box open. Um, it arrived today in the mail. Complete mystery box. I've got no idea what's in here. Uh, Mvargo did send me... Uh, a mystery box not too long ago that was chock full of uh, Big Ben variant figures. So I'm kind of quite excited to see what's in this one. Okay, Tony, here is just a few small Joe items that I hope your collection will appreciate. I wasn't sure if you had some of the figures, but if you do, no big deal. I've really enjoyed watching your content since I found your channel with the Action Force 1982 video in December 2020. I recently had shoulder surgery from an old football injury. Oh, I, I hope you're, you're getting better quick. And at the time, he quickly binged all the other videos. I always look forward to the next and look forward to seeing you again at Valicon 2023. Absolutely. P.S. Make sure you unwrap all the paper packing so you don't miss anything. The custom slip says one G.I. Joe figure. Um, but if you're anything like me, Envargo, I'm uh, really lazy when I fill out custom slips as well. I might send like five figures to someone and just on the slip say one. So, all right. This is actually quite a, quite a heavy box. Do you know how many times that we've talked about this on the 3POA? This is, is this version 2 Stalker? I can't remember how many Stalkers there were. The only Stalkers that I know is version 1 and this version. This is the Tundra Ranger Stalker. We talk about this on the 3POA all the time. Bobby loves this toy. It comes with the, um, the kayak. You've got Stalker there with his... Uh, with his ice hockey mask. It's got the file card. It looks to be complete. Dude, Michael Vargo, this is awesome. Um, what the hell? We've got a torpedo figure. Torpedo was one of the um, recent reveals, uh, the six inch scale classified version of Torpedo was one of the, uh, so we saw some colored in digital renders during PulseCon and it was the figure that I thought looked the best. And this looks to be again, complete. Dude, this is a really nice figure. Thank you very much. Um, Holy crap. This is just a box full of vintage G.I. Joe. Um, here we have the Halo Jumper Ripcord. You know, and I'm, I'm working on a big vintage G.I. Joe script at the moment. Um, and a lot of this stuff is gonna come in very, very useful. We've got Ripcord, the Halo Jumper. I do have this figure already, 
but I don't have the file card. So thank you very much for the file card. Man, these are all in really nice condition. Um, he has packed a lot of stuff in here. It's Muskrat. Uh, I, I was going to say a later issue Joe. To me, it's a later issue Joe. I want to say this is around 88 or something like that. Um, again, another complete figure with his shotgun, his machete. Muskrat is a pretty cool action figure. Look at that guy. Um, and I want to say version 2 cutter I think he needs a new o-ring that's not a problem he, he's provided he's provided a spare o-ring because the o-ring's broken I was just going to say it's not a problem I'm very adept at uh, replacing o-rings in G.I. Joe's um is it? I'm sure it's Cutter. Version 2 of Cutter. It's got um, the Navy, Navy printed across his um, life preserver. He said to check all of the paper. I'm checking all of the paper. I've barely scratched the surface of this box. Holy shit. Um... Now we have the original cutter. Man, do I want a uh, do I want a GI Joe killer whale badly? Complete with file card. And he is in minty, minty condition. That is a gorgeous vintage joe figure man it's been a long time i think since i've done an unboxing video i was very much trying to uh encourage the supporters of this channel not to send me too much stuff anymore but um this is whoa I know how hard these are to get hold of. This is... a minty... Mail Away Steel Brigade. What do you reckon, Bobby? This is beautiful condition. Thank you, uh, Embargo, thank you. I'm just... No, this, this can't be right. No, no, no. There's a really big item in this box. There is a beautiful minty cutter figure here. And here I see missiles. Uh, depth charges. If you're a Joe fan, you know what this is. Michael Vargo, 
you really, really did not need to do this. But man, am I thankful. <clears throat> this is a G.I. Joe whale. I need to I nearly bought one of these um, only a few weeks ago. I get a I get a bonus each year at work and I almost bought it and instead I went and bought a whole heap of Batman 1989 stuff for a video I'm working on. This is the Millennium Falcon of the G.I. Joe line. This is far, far too generous of a get, whoops. Oh my God. This is in gorgeous, gorgeous condition. I dropped a couple of pieces. That's the recon sled, part of the ramp. It looks here like we've got all of the fan vanes unbroken. The windshield. I'm going to have to go through and check all these pieces in a bit, but reproduction stickers. Um, th this seems to only have the G.I. Joe and the whale sticker on the side and not all of the other details, but there's some really high quality reproduction stickers. The fan blades intact, the veins intact. This is um, the spring-loaded device that will make the the fan blade spin. It's a it's a complete whale. Oh my god! I need to check all the cardboard. I can't begin to explain quite how overwhelmed I am. Um, this has been a holy grail toy for me with G.I. Joe and um, the fact that... Man, these things have got some weight to them. It looks like all of the parts are here. It's it's a complete whale. It's not very often I'm just completely, completely lost for words. Um, but I am today. I'm, 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 I'm really, really lost for words. Um, Michael Vargo, you and your beautiful new wife, I wish you many, many years of happiness 
and um, look forward to a video review of the vintage G.I. Joe killer whale dedicated to you and your wife. Um, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you so much. Um, crap. I'll, I'll, I think I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.